It's Kira's wedding. It's Kira's wedding. Yeah, we're going. You go to Kira's wedding. It's amazing. Well, Chaim, your twins getting married. <laughs> the twins getting married. Baruch Hashem. What? Baruch Hashem. Baruch Hashem. I, I, I totally forgot about the twin uh, call, but it's here. All right, Chaverim. Let's fire it up. Sicha 11 of Sicha Daran. Turning barriers into pleasures. Turning Menias into Naimis. The obstacles into the greatest pleasures. The obstacles some might run away from. But Mamish, if we answer them, if we answer them, Gavald, 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 those very same obstacles are revealed to be the highest. And only by way of reaching the highest is it through the obstacles. Fortunate are we, says Rabbi Nachman. For Hashem has been good to us and given us the holiness of Judaism. Baruch Hashem Riyidin. Baruch Hashem Riyidin. The Rebbe said, I have great joy simply because I was worthy of being in the land of Israel. I think Rabbi Nachman says elsewhere that saying Shilo Asani Goy is the one thing that there's uh, no blemish in, that you can't find a shortcoming in. It's the one thing. Everything else, the, the, the obstacles and the confusions of our mind will say, Oh, you learned, but it wasn't Lashma. Oh, you davened, but was it really for real? Oh, your answer, are your prayers really getting answered? Ah, oh, you did all you can and work, but you could have done more. You could have done more. Everything, everything, everything comes with the shortcoming. But we should be Zoka to, to, to filter out the shortcomings or to even not even filter out. Bring them in the circle. Bring them in the circle and have a higher level of intensity and joy. Gewalt. Rabbi Nachman says, when you say Shiloh Asani Goy, there's no blemish in that at all. It's completely pure. To the Rebbe's voyage to the Holy Land involved much confusion and many frustrations and obstacles, including money. It's not Pasha living in Eretz Israel, not Pasha making the Shekel, but we do it. Nevertheless, he overcame all barriers and attained his goal of walking to the Holy Land. Think about all the Chevra who are uh, going through uh, Nefesh B'Nefesh and the fingerprints and the sending back and forth between Nefesh B'Nefesh. It's unbelievable. The Nisyonos, the test, it's unbelievable. And the Hebrew, the lack of Hebrew, but Chaim seems to make it. Make it. Uh, and he's cooking. He's not really a person. We have fired up. Mendela. Mendela was fired up. So he said, I believe this and understand it. every movement, every thought and every effort made for the sake of doing something holy is never wasted. When you want to do something holy, says Rabbi Nachman, at first you are confused and unsure. You are standing on the balance deciding whether or not to do it and barriers seem to be springing on every side. But when you are worthy of completing the task, your every movement, your every thought and every confusion you had in completing this deed are all marked for good. They are lifted on high and made it to very holy, exalted things. Fortunate is he who is worthy of breaking down all barriers and completing with each holy task. So, Chavar, there's something gavaldic. You ready for this? Everyone buckle up. Everyone buckle up. Rabbi Nachman says that if someone were to ask Rabbi Nachman, Chaim, get the kippah ready. It's mamish. It's going. It's going below the chin. Below the chin this time. Hashem sent this thought in our heads before the before the to, uh, the stealing Torah. If you were to ask Rabbi Nachman, where are you going? Rabbi Nachman could be in the middle of Mezhabash. He could be in Breslev. He could be in Uman. And you ask him where he's going, what does he say? I'm going to Eretz Yisrael. How does that make sense? Every single step he was making was towards Eretz Yisrael. Now he says here that at first things are confusing. Ah, how is it that I could actually make one step forward to Eretz Yisrael? How is it that every step I take and every little effort, every thought that I have is for the good? And it is good. And it counts. How is it? Kevin, we, we, we get on such a level, whether, whether we're inside Eretz Yisrael or not, whether we're a formal soldier or informal soldier, where we feel Chas at first that our steps are insignificant. But Rabbi Nachman was on such a level, even when he was outside of Eretz Yisrael, he was walking towards Eretz Yisrael. It's such a chiddush. It's such a chiddush. And, that, and that's what we need to do all the time, all the time. And once we realize that, then we realize that every step that we ever took was all towards Eretz Yisrael. And then Rabbi Nachman says, but when you're worthy of completing the task, your every movement, your every thought, and every confusion you had in completing this deed, all are marked for good. 
when you complete the task, what is completing the task? Maybe it's going to Eretz Yisrael physically. Maybe it's actually going to the port of uh, Haifa and actually taking the four steps in the north of Rabbi Nachman that he says, like, die, it was enough. Or it could also mean when we actually have the Eretz Yisrael mindset where we're able to walk into Eretz Yisrael, complete the task, even in Chutz I was watching this year of Moshe Weinberger. I don't know, it doesn't make sense. I, I'm sorry, it doesn't make sense. But it, it, it seemed good before this year. It seemed good. It seemed good. I, I watched Moshe Weinberger give a shear to the Ish Kodesh Chavra. And let me tell you, it was the most insane thing ever. I think the Wolk guy is calling. Mani Shma. Ah. Ata, ata Khan? Esrim Shalosh. I'm sorry, Esrim Shalosh. Kuma Shalosh. Jack, what's this bit? Ma? Did I just teach that Jack decided to eat Walt instead of being a Rebbe? Kind of weird. You would have to give us the Torah instead because Jack's not, Jack's not coming through. Shut up. Jackal, Jack. the animal. Got to eat protein, boys. Hi, I was at the beach today. Mm -hmm. And uh, someone was like, yo, where did you serve? I'm like, oh, yeah, I didn't serve. And um, he's like, why not? And I was like, it's not my top kid. I'm like, he's like, what kind of BS answer is that? I'm like, dang, you're, you're kind of right, dude. I'm, I'm not sure why. Topless. And I think that's going to be my answer now. I just don't know. So, yeah. It was, yeah. It was a good opening. Where are you on that, my guy? Who's this like, fucking guy with the flow back hair? What's your name, dude? You're in the top right corner for yo, me, at least. You know, know me. You know me. You know me. Nick it right. Nick it right. Nick it right and slow I'm down. Dude, your hair's looking fire these days. <laughs> All right, pull it right there. I found it. Bro, I didn't recognize it's you. It's coming, bro. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. How's, how's the Andrew T. Right, Rell? Ever. Later, later. Ever, I have no clue what the wolf guy is. I'm forgetting about the wolf guy. I'm forgetting about the wolf guy, Ever. I'm so sorry. So sorry, I'm forgetting about it. I don't know if he calls again. Yo, he calls... Jack, 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 Jack. Check this out. Check this out. Go down. Jack. You got the good. <laughs> we both do what we do. <laughs> it's the wolf. Time, I'm fake. I'm fake. You know why I don't cook? I'm lazy. I'm lazy, mamash. All right, Trevor, I'm sorry about that. Just a little, little continuation over here. So completing the task, even when we're outside and inside Eretz Yisrael, what does it mean to complete the task? Maybe it means to realize that every single effort, whether it be physical, whether it be in thought, or even if it's incomplete, is complete. A part is part of the, the part is part of the whole. It is the whole. It contains the whole. It contains the Rebbeinu Shalom. So okay, one more story just for the Eretz Yisrael Chavra meaning everyone around the world, because we're all like living with the Aristotle mindset, that Rabbi, we said this story before, but it's amazing. When Rabbi Yaakov Shimshon of Shepetovka made Aliyah to Aristotle, he decided to go first by himself, and then at a later stage, bring his family. On his journey back to his family, he stayed overnight in one of the inns along the way. When he looked in the mirror that night, he noticed that because of the strain of the journey, his body had become lean and gaunt, and his face was thin and bony. He thought to himself, if I return now to my city, my friends will say Eretz Yisrael consumes the blood and meat of its inhabitants and removes the spark from their faces. Imagine you go back to, to B'nai Shurin, and you have like this uh, physique, you know, this uh, skin and bones. You say, oh, that's what Eretz Yisrael does to you? So what did this rabbi do? The tzaddik, I will ultimately, God forbid, bring a bad name to the Holy Land. He was so concerned about giving a bad name to Eretz Yisrael, where he, where he did this. What did he do? He stayed in the inn, wherever in Eretz Yisrael, wherever he was staying, 
for several days, ate, drank very well, and lifted his spirits until he was strong again. By that time, he returned to his hometown. His appearance was healthy, so that all who saw him were impressed with the land flowing with milk and honey. So Hebra, we're also agents of the Eretz Yisrael, wherever we find ourselves, is that we should just be mechazic ourselves all the time, that every single step we take is towards Eretz Yisrael. It's mamish, and once we have that mindset towards Eretz Yisrael, it's like we are walking on Eretz Yisrael, like completing the tasks as Rabbi Nachman, every step, every effort counts, we'll learn later in, in one of the later stichot. And also to not give a bad name to Eretz Yisrael, right? It's important not just to mechazik ourselves, but mechazik others, the siyat Bishmaya. Questions, comments, please feel free. Uh, Seth, I feel like a lot of this is a little bit like, I meaning it could be highest highs, but it could also be cop-out Torah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear. I hear that it's side. I hear that side. It's It's the danger. It's the danger, but we also have to mechazik. We have to mechazik ourselves. We have to mechazik others. It's like all those Jews were like, yeah, like my heart's in Israel. No, it's not. But Achid, like, again, it's a, it's one way of interpreting the Torah that's endless. Right? Rabbi Nachman says, do whatever you want with my Torah, but the Shulchan Aruch don't ever change. So there's also Eretz Yisrael Mamish. It's Eretz Yisrael Mamish, where like Rabbi Nachman actually came to Eretz Yisrael and took the steps on the land and was in Eretz Yisrael. And he went through all those obstacles to get here. We could look at it from that way, Mamish, like actually being here, making all the obstacles, with Nevesh Benevesh, the whole thing. We could look at it from many different angles, many different angles from our interpretation. But something that came to me was just that side of looking at it from that lens. Jack. There are there are official borders written in the Torah, like it's like, what does that mean, mamish and not mamish? Like, no, like mom, mamish stepping on the land, versus like a spiritual. I'm walking even when I'm outside Eretz Yisrael. I'm walking towards Eretz Yisrael, and having that mindset. I saw I I don't know I saw Rav Moshe Weinberger in the Shear. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm like. Oh my goodness! <laughs> there's ever a yid, there's ever a yid who was living this Torah. That he's, was. He's dirty. We know he's dirty. It was. It, I, I was just watching him speak about the land, and I'm just like, how? How? <laughs> how? Is he ever coming? No. <laughs> you know. By the way, and I just saw the story. You ready for this? You ready for this? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, a, it's a. Um. It's a. Rabbi Yisrael of Rizhin said, someone's asked him, like his, his Talmidim asked him, why do you not make Aliyah to Eretz Yisrael? He said, if I settle in Eretz Yisrael, Rabbi Yisrael replied, people will ask me, why did you come without your congregation? And for this question, I will not have an answer. Maybe, uh, mm. you know, it's, it's something. I don't know. I like that. I like that. You saw that before, but um, yeah, anyways, how you, how you doing? How you doing? I got it. I got some work. I got some tests. Um, I'm cooking, cooking some really good looking chicken, which is obviously very exciting. Valdek, Baruch Hashem. Uh, yeah, bro, it's a grind. I got like not a, I have like a month left to get a lot of things done. So that's also a pretty good amount of time. So it should be okay, in Josh. Yeah. And the the, the fam's coming to your shalim. Definitely, just pull by again. Huh? Sam's coming to your Shalayan? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Want to come? Or are you going to America? Um, going to America. Good belt. <laughs> no, I'm going to be here the second days. Bizarre to Shem. Second days. Yeah, <laughs> All right, I'm fired up. I love you. We'll speak. Be well, brother. Be well, be well, be well. Fired up, fired up, fired up.